these are yours and your sister's, and I am just the trustee for them. But in this, you'll just have to accept my judgment. God, Mother, I do. Don't tell your father. I won't. He's always just looking to find fault. He's got problems of his own these days. Did I tell you about the time I had to change banks when he had this little clerk informing him about what was going on in my account? I know, Ma. That was years ago. <laughs> Can you imagine? Anyway, my new fella is richer than your father, cuter than your father, and smarter than your father. I see you coaxed L.K. into a lighter color rug. Diana, stop that. No, he looks cute. I mean, every time they ran a picture of him in The Guardian, he always looks so darn guilty. Your father is a skunk. You know, the only reason he's chasing after L.K. is to get to me. Yeah? Yeah, he's a wretch. Pure and simple. And don't put anything past him. Mama, you think we can ever get to a conversation without talking about Daddy? No, don't be silly. He never enters my mind. Nice to meet you. Ready to be the editorial writers? Yeah. I think I've lined up a place to stay. You've got a place to stay. Oh, no, listen. At 15 rooms and maid service. Come on. Keep out of your way. I'd like the company for Pete's sake. <laughs> It'll be great. Yeah, it'll be great. Now, with the editorial people, I usually open up with the dirtiest joke I know. <laughs> Dad, that's your department. Listen. Like our game plan. Stay the course. Yeah. Let me feel you. Ice cold. Must be my daughter. <laughs> ah, the prison writing program. <laughs> have a chair, Felicia. <clears throat> I have been making this introduction all day. And I have to tell you, there are no words to express the satisfaction I feel in presenting to you our new associate publisher, late of El Echo de Miami, Felicia Keys Saldivar. Mm. You're meeting Felicia. Don't let her take away your parking space. <laughs> I should confess to you that editorial policy is a particular interest of mine. In general, I agree with the trend of newspapers to become more reader friendly. But there is one area where I would like our readers respect, editorial policy. No more feel good editorials about the first day of spring and the blue jay feeders in the backyard. And no more checking the polls before we decide how this paper stands on issues. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. Gail Brody, senior editor. I've been asked to represent all of us at this meeting. Sure, Gail. Rumors, of course, have been flying all day. Can we get a picture of where you fit on the political spectrum? I know this is an unfair question, but it's I... It's not unfair at all. I am a recovering libertarian. <clears throat> what about editorial independence? I will be approving all policy decisions. I hope that this matter is open to negotiation. Because if it isn't, my colleagues have authorized me to tell you that Mr. Keyes will find seven resignations on his desk at the end of the day. I'm sorry. I'm new at all of this, and I probably didn't explain things clearly. Your resignations should come to me, not to Buddy. So if you have them with you, I'll take them now. There's only one guy in this place ever worth getting stupid for. And you ran screaming from him like your hair was on fire. I ran screaming from him the day I realized I'd married a bigot who thought giving tennis lessons to teenagers was a cool way to make a living, who drinks too much, and who ends every serious conversation with, well, you can talk about progress all you want, but at least when our schools were segregated, somebody got a decent education. Ew. Ew. I know. <laughs> you must run into him here all the time. He's playing right over there. Ew, Carson. You tiger. Ooh, you know the best. Okay. 
Yeah, she's been stalking the corridors, firing at anything that moves. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Buddy's given her free reign, or at least a long leash, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, she's just walked into the city room. You should see this reaction. Angel of death, I swear. I do not have a problem with women in authority. My problem is with Gidget in authority. <laughs> uh, listen, apparently it tolls for me. Hang on, okay? I make a perfectly good living at the dog track. I don't need this job. Are you free for dinner later this week? We'd like to talk about your future at the Guardian. Dinner? How about Saturday, 6.30? You know where Buddy lives? I'm a reporter. Let me find out. It's been a real pleasure meeting you, huh? Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Same here, son. Okay, go slow, Randy. Careful. Don't worry. I'll be right out, huh? <laughs> I'm so excited. I am gonna just love the racing business. <laughs> Let me check him out so you see if he's as stupid as he looks. No, you're not the one getting in business with him. I am. Daddy, please. This is gonna be a hell of a lot of fun, but it isn't foolishness. Let me run my own show. All right. Scram. Adios. Yeah, but I think a little caution might... Cut her a check for what she wants and find out about the cluck. Sue me. I care about her. We all care about her, buddy. Look competitive, Shug. This is strange. Okay, start the car. I won't make you pretend to drive. Sorry. It looks unbelievably fakey, sweetie. No, no, Caroline. I told you this afternoon. You agreed to it. There would be no sound. I did not agree to any such thing. Uh, listen, just pictures and Buddy and the entire family will be fully cooperative. You told me he'd field questions. I wouldn't have slept out here for a photo op. Look, do you want Buddy or not? Where is he? He's inside. I'll get him. Thank you. But I'm sorry if there was a misunderstanding. Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, he's a beauty. Well, oh, he's yeah. not such a great color, but I thought he had sort of a personality in his expression. Well, he does look a little like Gerald Ford. <laughs> Did you get him at the Snake Ranch? Yeah, yeah, he's probably a descendant of some little trooper who did eight shows a day for you. Oh. Are you keeping birds over there? How did you work out the nerve to catch him? When I got there, I swear I heard all these birds. What do you mean nerve? He's just a little old jeter back. This is a coral, honey. No, Dad, a coral's poisonous. That, that's a coral. Mm -hmm. oh. It's a very thoughtful gift. 